Creative Stamping Issue 85 is here, and there are some very fun things going on with this magazine, including, let me show you, there are all of these stamps. There are 27. So you can see the toucans, the parrot, the leopard, the sloth, <laughs> just all kinds of things. In addition, there are greetings. There's even this log that comes in very handy, I've noticed, as well as butterfly, flowers, and tropical leaves. So very fun. And in addition, this also includes papers. There are 16 of them. There are also 182 cutouts. Well, you can see where that number comes from with that sheet, but they are double-sided. So just in case there's something you don't want, you can still use the paper. There we have some toucans and more. So of course, this is very tropical. More of the cutouts and an all-over pattern and some solids. And then this is all going to get duplicated in the second set so you can just see all of that so there are as i said 16 papers 182 believe it or not cutouts and let's look inside this issue and just see what some things that caught my eye this is doing stamp backgrounds and yes it's using the stamps that come inside the magazine so step by step some fun things i just thought that was gorgeous um, very fun look and you know, those kinds of techniques can go other places too. Here we have King of the Jungle. So we've got a sloth hanging in there. You can see just doing a little part of that larger stamp and you can kind of frame that little guy or any of them. Here we have doing a striped background. And I thought that was an interesting technique, especially the way they've executed it. So you can see lots of ideas there and on that page too. Here we have modern florals. So I just thought it was nice to show you just some different ways that they can be used. And here we go. Now this is the totally tropical, so it's using the stamp set that's included and creating a rainforest canopy background and step-by-step -step on that. Again, using the, the stamp uh, in just a really clever way to create the backgrounds and the foregrounds on that. This is from one of the designers, and I thought it was really nice to share her story. And this is with using the paper with the stamp, so that works out beautifully. I thought it was really fun to see the circles included. And there you can see right there, these fold out cards, just very fun. And then putting that brightly colored one against a white background and then having the printed papers to cover the cards, a really excellent idea. Here we have flowers and foliage, again, using your set. I thought this was really pretty coming off the corner of the card. And here you have some others just using some really, um, having the backgrounds very plain, but letting those stamped images really pop. And here we have some techniques. This is using some layering techniques and some folding techniques, so that was fun. I wonder why it's Spotlight USA. Hmm, I have to see what that's about. Floral notes, okay. And we have more going on, as you can see. Um, Treetop Treasure, so this is a layered stamp, so lots going on in these. And this is where I thought it was fun to see that piece of wood, that log there having the animals. I didn't realize that there were ants in there, but I guess there are. And also for that leopard to sit on, for that little um, reptile to sit on, that frog. So just very fun to see that. Lots of fun things with these stamps. And best of all, the stamps come with the papers and the magazine all together. And uh, so Creative Stamping issue 85 is here. We are delighted to tell you it is exclusively here at paperwishes.com.